we were notified by the utility company that they're going to be shutting power off here uh, in the next week or so. And so we want to make sure that this signal uh, that I'm at here today is going to continue running on battery backup when they do so, because we don't want to present a hazardous situation to the motoring public. And I shouldn't even say motoring public, I should say the mobile public, being vehicular, pedestrian, bicyclist, anyone that uses this signal. So we need to check this out today to make sure it's going to work properly. Well, this isn't a great start. I don't see any activity on this battery backup unit. It appears to be completely dead. Plug in the batteries here. This is the input to the battery backup unit from the batteries. We've got four 12 volt batteries in series that would make up about a 48 volt input. And uh, since this thing's dead, I'm assuming that this thing hasn't been charging the batteries at all for about a year. So let's do a quick check here on the batteries. Ah, 2.6 volts. This battery backup acts as a kind of a trickle charger to keep those batteries powered up. So when there is a power loss, it converts to that battery backup system and provides full power to the signal to keep it running. Since this thing's dead, it hasn't been doing anything. So looks like I'm gonna have to go back to the shop and get a new unit and change that out. Ah, oh, yes, we got some pre-wired batteries. Okay, I'm back now. I think after a second thought here, I'm not gonna wait for these batteries to charge up. I'm gonna go ahead and just replace them. Well, unfortunately, I had to undo these pre-wired batteries because the setup didn't work with the existing setup. So, I'll spend a little more time doing this. Whew, that's a lot of work changing those out. But this is what we want to see on the end of this plug coming from the set of four batteries. We've got 49.7 volts, and that's what we're looking for. So batteries are swapped out. Now it's time to work on the battery backup unit. All right, first thing I want to do is I want to kill power to this input of this battery backup unit because I don't want to get hit when I do the work. And that's just fed down to here into this outlet. And... Ah. All right, power is dead now. And now I can safely go in there and start loosening these terminals and disconnect the wire. And we're going to unpack this new battery backup unit here the old one. Out with the old, in with the new. So I just gotta break these plugs apart and put them into their little location here. Negative. There we go. Pushed in. Positive. This is for our batteries. Those are in. Turn this thing back on. Okay. Are we flashing an alarm? Okay, keep going, alarm, AC breaker. Oh yeah, this is open. Okay. So out the street. So uh, just go ahead and give us a try, I think. See what happens. Okay. Okay. Arms off. No voltage in. Why do I not have voltage in? I forgot the reason I don't have voltage in is because I gotta put this plug back in. Okay, power should be up there now. Now let's try turn that on. That looks good so far. Voltage in. Let's 
I'm sorry, it's voltage out. Let's go to voltage in. Back out of here, select that. Voltage in is 116. Voltage out is 115. Our batteries are looking strong. We'll give us a couple minutes to make sure that it's functioning fine in the system and then we'll give it a test. We're gonna test our handiwork here. Let's run. Let's go ahead and pull the power and see if it keeps running. Oh yeah. Awesome. Today's work, 